Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about molecular vibrations in IR spectroscopy. So it is a small topic, so we will complete in few minutes. My name is Dr. Gauran Google. Yes, molecular vibrations. When infrared light is passed through the sample, the vibrations and rotational changes of molecules are increased. It means what? If you have a molecule, if you have a substance and you are targeting it with the infrared frequencies, when the incidental frequency of molecule and the frequency which are coming from the infrared source is meeting to each other, there will be some molecular vibrations, some changes in the molecule. And there are actually two types of main, main molecular vibrations may occur. Out of that, first is stretching vibration and the second is bending vibration. Now we are going to look about the first one that is stretching vibration. There is in increase or decrease in the bond length between two atoms. It means the bond atoms are going to either coming to near to each other or going away from each other, but they are in the same direction, same line. So what will happen? Only the bond length will change. No change in bond angle in stretching vibrations. This increase or decrease in the bond length between two atoms called stretching process and vibrations arise due to this process is called stretching vibrations. Next, stretching vibrations are of mainly two types. First, symmetrical stretching. Second, asymmetrical stretching. Suppose you have a center in your two atoms and the stretching is happening both the side same way in left side and right side. Then the stretching will be called as symmetrical stretching. You can see when center A is there in left and right side both stretchings are similar. So the stretching will be symmetrical stretching and if another asymmetrical stretching if it is not in the symmetrical way that will be called as asymmetrical stretching. Now the bending vibrations if we are not changing only the bond length but we are dealing with the bond angle we are observing the change in the bond angle with respect to the common atoms will be called as bending vibrations. Bending vibrations can be classified in four categories. First one, scissoring bending. Second one, rocking bending. Third one, banging bending. Fourth one, twisting bending. So these are the titles. Now we are going to see how it's happening. See, first is stretching vibration, stretching, bending vibration. So this stretching bending vibration is happening in scissoring manner. Scissor, you know, what is scissor? So in scissoring manner, if bendings are happening, this uh, vibrations are called scissoring bending vibrations. Bonds become close to each other or it may, get away, it may go away to each other simultaneously, thereby change in the bond angle will occur. You can observe from the center, if both are coming to nearer, the bond angle will definitely change here. If they are going away from each other, definitely the bond angle will change. So in scissoring bending vibration, the bond angle is changing as we've seen earlier. Now rocking vibration, if motion happening in both the same side, direction either in left side, you can see either in left side or it may in right side. So this type of looks like rocking. So this 
vibrations these bending vibrations are known as rocking bending vibrations next banging bending vibration sometimes if you see any bird the wings of the bird are moving upper side and down side both simultaneously in both the side so with respect to the central atom you assume the bird right if both atoms move behind or above the plane simultaneously suppose a bird is in a plane its wings are also in the same plane but if the wings are going up or down side it looks like wanging so the wanging bending vibrations are happening in this way next twisting bending you may you all may have seen the rock rock right rock r o p e rock so in rock we are find some twist right so with respect to the central atom one atom moves behind the plane and another is moving above the plane it looks like a twisting so this type of bending vibrations are known as twisting bending vibrations so now we are recalling again the molecular vibration can be classified in two part one stretching vibration and another bending vibration stretching vibration further can be classified in two part one is symmetrical stretching another is asymmetrical stretching bending vibration can be further classified in four part scissoring bending rocking wanging and twisting so these all are about the molecular vibrations in higher spectroscopy or you can say vibrational spectroscopy thank you for listening patiently thank you.